Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of City Skylines. My name is CityZilla and today we are in the city of Canalville where we are going to be building out a large authentic farm area. But first I wanted to show off our city at night a little bit. I don't do these night views a lot and I'm sure maybe some of you haven't seen all of our canals, all the lights and everything. And then I did end up adding in some lights for our prison area as well. And so I basically put floodlights all the way around this thing with a bunch of airport lights kind of scattered around following through the prison so that now it would be pretty secure. I mean, I uh, I would have to imagine that with the floodlights, they'd probably have to put them in an area where it wouldn't blind the towers, but I really like the effect that it has here. It really lights it up, makes it bright, makes it seem secure. Um, and then there still really isn't a whole lot of access off of this island. I did get a lot of suggestions for our naval area. I'm kind of playing around with them, um, augmenting it a little bit. And so I think here, either this week or the next week, we'll probably jump into it. And so um, I super appreciate everybody's suggestions. I did hear you guys. Um, I know I got a bunch of them. And so um, one of the cool things with this is all, all the different colors. I decided to do green over here, purple, this like red on our little seawall. I did orange in our main downtown area simply because our our skyscrapers were orange too, and, and I felt like it was just a really fitting thing. And so um, I think this is fun. I'm glad I showed it. And so look, now let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay, and so today we are going to be working on this large area over here. I feel like it is just, I was initially hoping to do this island right here, but I feel like this one is just perfect for a rural farming community. And so I think we're going to be pretty much filling out this whole island with farming. I don't know if we're going to be able to get it all today, but we're definitely going to try to. And the reason I came up with this idea is because um, we definitely need some more residential. And then in order to get all of our factories, we need to get forestry and farming, which we already do have farming. We have this small little farming area right here. Um, but I wanted to kind of lay this out before we did forestry, especially since we just did forestry. I think we're going to do a small forestry community over here. I'm not sure if I'm going to show it, show it on recording, but I might. Um, and so the first thing I want to do is jump in here and we're going to go to paint industry area. We're going to turn this into a big guy. I'm literally going to paint this entire area. And voila, here is our large farming area. And so now let's jump into a four unit road and I want to have access off of the freeway here. So I think what we'll do, we don't want to be too close to this. So maybe like right here and what I'll do is go out one, go up to 39 feet since that seems to be the required height for uh, bridges. And let's actually upgrade that to a bridge piece instead of a ground piece. And then we'll go across, go like this, go out one more, I believe it was eight. And then we will go down right here. Perfect. And then what I'm gonna do is go ahead and do the same thing over here. Literally just come out here, go up to 39 and then build it across. And perfect, there we go. And so I do want to get a canal over here as well. Um, one of the main functions of canals is actually to help with agriculture. And so I feel like this would be a missed opportunity if we if we didn't expand our canal network over here. So I think what we're going to do is follow the freeway right here. And we will go like right here. Let's go all the way down. And we are going to have to turn this piece into bridge pieces real quick so that we can build underneath without having to uh, kind of come back and, and adjust it all. So I'm just going to upgrade these two bridge pieces real quick and perfect. And so now we will go back to that rural road, go to the dirt road, come up over here, literally right next to it. We can go to unmodded, go like this. Yeah, well, you know, I feel like that's going to be good. And then we will come up here and yeah, we'll go right there. Perfect. And then we need to go 10 down since that's our standard width for our canals. And then we're going to come all the way down again, go like this. And then we need to go to the water, go like this, go like that. Perfect. And it does look like, oh no, we're good. So we can just extend that bridge just a smidge further and we'll be fantastic. And so let's make sure that we're good on this side though. So I do want to upgrade this section to a bridge piece since it's so close. This one looks pretty good though. Bridge, 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 all that's bridge. And so now let's go ahead and turn our canal here. So I'm gonna grab the picker mod, grab this and turn it. I actually think I'm gonna go like right here. I would prefer it not have a weird angle. So maybe we'll go like that and then we will delete this little piece. I feel like that looks pretty good. And then that way what we can do is go into our level terrain tool and we need to go from the other side since the water is over there and we need to go we don't need to go super deep but deep enough i don't know if we're gonna have fairies going down this but we might i mean joe fairy might petition to uh, not have any canal left unturned so we will come this way all the way down and the reason we're going left to right is a because of the water but then also for this canal so that we know where to drop it down. Yeah, I feel like that looks pretty good. I think I'm just gonna adjust the sun real quick. It looks like it's just a little too low. So I'm gonna jump into the atmosphere settings, bring my my uh, latitude up just a smidge. Yeah, there we go, perfect. 
Now we can see in there, it was just a little too dark. And so that should be good right there. But what I wanna do is jump out of the mixer real quick, go into trees and then remove the trees in this canal as well. I don't really want to trees in the canal. So we'll just hold right click, go all the way down, perfect. And then now we should be good to go ahead and hit play and let this figure itself out. The flooding normally takes a while. I'm sure many of you guys already know. So we'll jump in to find it. And we don't really need, we actually don't need to go in to find it. We don't need any sort of spectacular or crazy um, canal or a key wall on the other side. So I'm just gonna do the standard one. What I'm gonna do is jump into the parallel mode, grab my nodes from the opposite side since I have tab hotkeyed to something else. I'm just gonna go all the way down. And then once I'm all the way down, I'm just going to hit that minus button until I get to 10. Uh, you know, we'll do nine. There we go, nice. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do it on this side as well. Perfect, so now we have our lovely key walls. And now all we need to do is jump into the bulldoze tool and grab one of these, hold the click button down and go all the way down and try not to delete our bridges. And you know what, I feel like that looks pretty good. Because these tree areas are here, I feel like we actually don't have any fertile land right there. So this would actually be a really good location for us to cut in a couple of our canals, especially up here. I feel like we'll maybe have them follow these natural tree lines. And then that way um, we can make sure that the agriculture area has enough water, but then also we can expand upon our uh, our current our current canal network. And so I feel like it's gonna be a missed opportunity if we don't do it. I'm gonna go ahead and draw on the network real quick and then I will show you guys when I'm done. Okay, so I feel like this is the layout that I'm gonna stick with. I kept going back and forth on whether to do some of these smaller areas or to create some smaller islands, but because this is more of a rural area, I really didn't wanna get too crazy. So it's definitely wider canals versus our much tighter ones over here. We're going to get into some tighter ones once we start doing our business district over here. Um, but I feel like for right now, this is just going to be fantastic for our area. And so now what we need to do is jump in here and just delete these and then go through. I need to turn the freeway into bridge pieces. I already did one of them, so this one's good. So then I'll just need to copy it over here. And then I'm just going to uh, hit that level train tool, literally go through the whole space, and then we'll come back and flood it. And so... I'm gonna go ahead and get that done real quick and I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so I finally got it done. I think this is gonna be great for our agriculture area. And so now let's go ahead and jump right in. And so what we need to do is use these four unit roads and create a couple arterials as we still do need to kind of get through this area, um, especially since a lot of this will have heavy traffic. We're gonna to wanna to use these uh, four lane roads. And so I think we will have a road come this way. Then we'll just cut across. Let's actually go to unmodded so we can get a bridge piece. And then let's go ahead and connect that up. And let's actually have this one go down. I'm gonna cut across again, go like this. I feel like that's pretty good right there. And then we do need to come through here with move it and just adjust these bridges, make sure that they're not doing this. So we want them to go over the key wall. We don't want them to be uh, to have the key wall go through it. That would probably be pretty bad. I mean, I would have to say that the engineers or whoever was in charge of that had done a terrible job if, if that's how it turned out. So then we want to do the same thing on this side. So I'm just going to go up. Let's actually measure that out. So if we go from the bridge, we have about 48. So let's say, ooh, so it's actually going to be closer. Let's go 48 from here. So it looks like right about there. And then we will do the same thing, cut across, go like this. Ooh, that one was off by a smidge. And then we will go up like this. And this is a kind of getting into a hilly area, so we got to be careful. So then let's go ahead and connect this one up and then go straight don't want to make the same mistake again and you know what I feel like that's pretty good and we do want to get some residential in here and stuff so I think on the far sides maybe we'll do like a rural town that has butted into a, kind of a bigger city it's still going to be on the smaller side but um, it's going to be kind of like some lore for the city like where it all started or something like that so then we'll come up here and you know what? that's pretty good so we have an arterial basically connecting to all major areas and then these are going to be connected up to the freeway. And so I feel like this right here is probably fantastic. And we may even come through and connect to some of these. Like this one right here is probably a good connection. This one right here as well. And then probably even coming down here and maybe bridging over the freeway or something. Um, I did change these to be uh, under the freeway as I was kind of playing around with it. And I felt like having the freeway just bridge up twice was going to be kind of weird. I felt like this just made a little more sense. And so now what I want to do is go through here and I'm just going to clean up these bridges real quick. I'm going to go through and just raise them all up so that the key wall is not uh, not on them. And then if they're like this, what I'm gonna do is slide them to the middle and then slide this up so that it can be kind of level. We want them to be the same size or at least close to it. Okay, so I think that is fantastic. And so now we can come in here and start doing some of our agricultural estates. So I wanna come into farming. 
and we're gonna go for a main building. So let's do one of these. Let's actually make our processing slash factory district over here. I feel like this is gonna be a fantastic spot. So then we will grab a four lane road. Let's actually do some trees on this one too, since this will be like maybe the headquarters for one of the big companies out here feel like this would be good so then we'll go into a two unit road we'll grab this and then we will come around let's actually go two to the side and then two over and we don't really know what buildings we're going to get in here yet so i think what we'll do is just put the main building right there there you go perfect and so I did get a bunch of uh, of these big fields. I got these XXL um, like huge fields and they actually still function like the regular uh, crop fields as well. I did get a bunch of decals as well, which I do like. The problem with the decals though is I can't seem to get the low level of detail fix for le like zooming out. I used to have ultimate level of detail, but I uh, recently got rid of, rid of it when I was trying to downsize some of my mods. Um, but maybe if we have a bunch of spaces that are needing stuff, we'll come back through and kind of bring that in. And so what I want to do is go ahead and place this here. And then we are going to do a rural road coming off of this. So I want to do full blown agricultural estates off of here. So we want to go like this, have this turn, and then we're going to do a small house in here. And we are going to actually paint this all in as one district. We're going to do the entire area. And then we're going to go into district themes and change them to a theme that I've created called Rural America that has an asset of the houses. I believe we use them. Yeah, we did for the mountain town in Crater Lake. They're really cool. They're just a like standard American homes almost, but they remind me of more of a rural home. Like they all have porches and they all have garages and stuff too, which maybe isn't super realistic, but I think they look good. And so I'm going to turn that, that on real quick, go into themes, go to enable theme manager, and then go to a rural America and make sure, yes, we have, ooh, and we have a bunch of these too, which is great. Oh, there you go. So American Suburban, these are all off the Steam Workshop. I'll go ahead and link them in the description if you guys are interested. Um, and then, so what we're going to do is basically come in and just zone in one. So we'll go like this. And you know what? I actually think we want to do a little driveway. So we will grab this and then have this arch back. So we'll go like that. Nice. I feel like that is going to be great. So we'll go like this. And then what I'm going to do is move this and I need to turn off snapping so I can get that nice angle. And then what we'll do is search a barn. And I got a bunch of just awesome barns on here. And it's kind of funny, I'd gotten these uh, for our for our other area and I had just completely forgotten. So there's like a, a horse stable, something like that, maybe just uh, some bales of hay or something. But then this is a standard barn to it. I feel like this looks great. I wonder if we can change the color of this. So if we go, oh, we can. Nice. So let's go. We'll go like that. There you go. Kind of like a worn look. It's like a hunter green, army green almost. But I think that looks fantastic. And so what we will do is create a little bit of a yard too. I want to come in here and do a little pond as it's pretty common for a lot of these places to have um, little bodies of water, maybe a little personal pond for the, themselves. Nice. And then what we can do is some more fields on this side. So then we will unpause so that can fill up with water. And let's go ahead and see if we can put in some of these. I feel like it's going to be pretty tight. Hmm. Maybe we'll do some of the standard fields in there. So let's actually come in here and we're going to do a road connecting up and then we will do a field going this way. And we got to be careful with these because these are, I think there's ones that are ripe, cut, and then young. So let's do, we'll do young ones here as I, I feel like they have a really cool look to them. They're just really green. Eh, maybe we'll actually do the ripe ones. Those are good. Yeah, there you go. Nice. And then we're going to do this as a little homestead. So I do want to do some more farms off this backside. So we're gonna go like this. And then now what we can do is actually use a couple of these. So we'll go like this, go like this. And then let's do a flour mill and then a couple silos. I feel like that looks pretty good. And then I got some silos off the Steam Workshop as well. So silos, get out of growables or maybe silo. Yeah, there you go, nice. And so I want to put these somewhere. Yeah, there we go. So we'll go like right here. Nice. I like that it's right on top of that too. And then what you can do is just go in here, just raise it up a little bit so that the concrete kind of comes through. Yeah, there we go. So I raised it up a little bit and then just brought it to the street. I feel like that looks pretty good. And then I do want to do a water tower and then some windmills as well. So we're going to go ahead and do a water tower right there. And then we're gonna come in here and windmills are a huge staple of farms, at least in where I've seen farms. So we're gonna come in here. We're gonna do a row of them. Yeah, there we go. Nice. I feel like that is fantastic. This is uh, something that you see a ton of in um, agricultural areas. 
especially if there's a lot of wind. Um, like I know up near Chicago, they have a bunch of farmland like corn and soybeans, but then they also have just fields and fields of windmills. Um, and it's kind of cool to see, especially at night, you just see all the flashing lights and everything. It's uh, kind of fun. And so I do want to do some more of these on this side. So we will come in here and just place these all the way down. So then I feel like that looks pretty good. Um, we will come in here and finish this loop. Have this go up and just connect up right there. Nice. I actually feel like this is pretty good. I do want to come in here though and change these to, we'll go to wheat. Now, you know, we'll do corn. Let's go ahead and pause real quick because we need to get water in here. Corn all the way down. So then what I want to do over here as well is go ahead and get rid of just a couple of these and do one of the animal pastures. I feel like that would be really smart. And so now pretty much this farm has um, everything it really needs. So it has silos, it has these big silos, which don't actually work, but um, they would be for storage. And then I think the only thing left that we need is a warehouse for, for the flour. So maybe we'll come in here and we'll do the same thing. We'll get rid of these two. And then let's do a small yard and we will do flour. Okay, and so we have our first little homestead. We have, um, I had to put in two little storages for animal, animal products and flour. And so I think what we'll do is actually just get rid of this and do more animal products since they already have a ton of uh, fields. And so this would just be for their... Uh, their cattle and stuff like that. Yeah, there we go. And so now they have three animal pastures. They have the two storages. They have two huge fields, some windmills. They're really doing great. And so I do want to come in here and I'm going to show you guys a little bit of what I'm going to do with my detailing because this really helps it to come alive. So if I search up pine trees, go like this. Oh, that's the boreal one. Let's go ahead and look at that because this actually might be a good looking tree for this. So you want to have like wind breaks, um, especially in really windy areas. The wind can actually destroy your crop. And so it's very beneficial to have uh, these rows of trees that will act as like a wind uh, diffuser so that the wind doesn't just destroy your whole crop so we'll go like that and then let's just say we have a wind prevailing from that direction and then what we'll do is we will use this as a uh, border for our little home over here as well and then i think we're going to do a little barn in the back for this and then make it into a fun area so like maybe they're raising raising a family or something okay and so now we have a nice little space in here i want to come in here and i'm just going to detail this real quick and show you guys what I have in mind for these little homesteads. Okay, so this is what I was thinking. Just a nice little natural area. Like they, maybe this is all, this was all part of their house. And so they have areas to maybe play with the kids. There's a little barn out there as well. And then I just put some more trees over here. And I feel like this looks really good. It's kind of funny that we did have these go abandoned because um, I didn't have any water. So I ended up having to replace them on. So that's basically the idea. Um, so now what I want to do is basically do another one over here. But I think we're going to do it a little bit different. So... We're going to jump in here, go to XXL. We're going to place one down. Now, maybe that's a little too big. Maybe we'll do the next one over. Yeah, I feel like this would be better. So if we go like this. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. And then that way what we can do is come in here, go to rule, and then draw this up. Go over one, go over one, and then do our little turnaround driveway as well. So we'll go like this, go like that, perfect. And then let's go ahead and do another field on the opposite side. So we'll go like that, nice. I feel like this is already looking pretty good. And so let's go ahead and connect this up and then we will come back here and let's go ahead and go like right there. Let's see if we can get any more little crops back here. This would be great if we could. So if we go like this, you know what, that's actually not bad. So if we go like this all the way down, so I think what we'll do is grab these, grab all of our nodes and just shift them away from this a bit just so that we can get a little more room right there. Cause if we can get one more, that'd be perfect. Nice. And then I'm just going to shift it one more so that I can get that corner off there. That's going to bother me. Yeah, we'll go like that. Nice. And so now we have some like multiple crops over here. So we could even say that they have some fruit as well. Yeah, we'll go like that. Nice. And so now they have three little orange fields. And this would just be a nice little, uh, little agricultural estate. Maybe they're even doing like some grapes or something. I wonder if you can choose grapes in here. I don't think you can. No, pears, apples, oranges. And so I'm going to go ahead and do water in here real quick so we don't get any weird abandonment issues. And there we go. 
And so let's go ahead and do another road off this side. And then let's grab this and bring it all the way to the end. And then let's do some more fields. We'll come in here, go like this, all the way down. And then we will get rid of one and make that into our flour mill. We might need to move those ones over just a smidge. I feel like that's, yeah, we'll go like that. And then I do want to get another row off the backside. Maybe we could just do it off of this road. How much space is left in here? So if we, yeah, so four. So I think what we're gonna do off this side is some more of those animal pens. So if we go like this and then go back in here and go to our lovely animal pastures. Yeah, these are gonna be great. And then that way we can do some storage over here as well. Maybe do some big storage, that could be good. So if we come in here to warehouses, let's actually do a couple of these bigger ones. Since this is a really big agricultural area, it would be fair to assume that maybe one of the companies had invested heavily in animal product warehouses and flower warehouses. I feel like that would be a great investment. Yeah, so maybe these people own this whole yard too. So maybe we will come in here and grab this, go behind, and then do some more fields back here because they would really want to maximize their profits off of this. So if we go like this, connect that up. Nice. I feel like that looks pretty good. I do want to come in here though and remove all these trees. I don't feel like that looks pretty good. So if we go like this, remove all of those. Yeah, nice. I feel like this looks pretty good already. We do have a lot of room in here, but this is going to be where their home is. I think maybe we'll have some more, uh, more fields behind their house. That would be good. So then we will come back in here and search up those suburban homes. And let's go ahead and choose a different one. So this one... I like this one. This one looks pretty good. And I'm basically just going to do the same thing for this one. And then I will show you guys when I'm done. Okay, so I got the second one done. And I think it just looks fantastic. I put some windmills in. I did the water tower. And then I uh, just kind of filled it all in, put the trees in. And I really like how it looks. I do want to go ahead and put in another one right here. And so I'm going to go ahead and get it done. And I will be right back with you guys. Okay, so I got the third one in. And I think it looks fantastic. I really like the look of this area. So I definitely want to get a few more in here. I think one, two, three. I think we'll probably do one right there. We'll probably do one right here. But then I want to do like a small town over here with a little church and a cemetery and like a small post office and then a couple rows of housing. Um, just make it into where maybe this was the first town where all the farmers and all the workers on the fields would live and, and uh, stuff like that, especially during season. And so... I'm going to go ahead and because this is kind of repetitive, I'm just going to go ahead and throw in the rest of these. So I'm going to do probably one right there one right there, one right there, and one right there, and I will be right back with you guys. I'll go ahead and do a time lapse for it.
Okay, so I finally got it done. After quite a few hours of playing around with it, I decided to go a little bit bigger than what I was originally thinking. I had built out these smaller areas and I was like, you know what, I want to do more. And so I think we're going to turn this into an industrial area. I think we are going to turn this into a forestry area since it's going to be really mountainous. And I feel like this would just be an awesome area to do something like that. I think we may turn this into a port with some more residential and maybe some offices or something. I'm not entirely certain, but we do need a port over here. And then we're going to do a residential area over here. And so we do need to get some services in. I did end up doing um, fire watchtowers going throughout. And uh, I think this just looks really fantastic. I decided to do the windmills going down. And we do have some traffic issues right now. It's just because every time I place down one of these silos, it literally just sends out a bajillion trucks to fill them up. Um, but once it fills up, then it definitely calms down. I've literally seen traffic jams over here um, on basically all sides. So I had a huge traffic jam over here. Here, huge traffic jam over here and so i did upgrade our roads to six lanes um, because it really just allowed more room for the trucks to turn especially since they need to get into all these little roads um, from a traffic standpoint i mean optimizing city skylines this isn't really the greatest of scenarios since a lot of these are cul-de-sacs um, but i was definitely going for more of an authentic look over something that is just optimized for the game and so i think this looks really cool especially with the windmills i think it just looks fantastic and i like the different colors too um, i kind of wish we could get some of those circle props um, but for some reason i couldn't get any of this stuff to work with the uh, procedure objects and so i'm not too worried about it i think it looks good go ahead let me know, know what you guys think in the comments down below um, so we are going to move on to this little town and what we're going to do, I want to do some basic grids as grids were pretty common back in the day, but we're going to leave a little space in the middle to do like yards and stuff like that, just because I don't think they would have put houses right on top of each other back in the day. Okay. And so I feel like that looks pretty good. I do want to do a road that goes along the front side too. So I think what we'll do is probably start right here and then we will actually curve along the front go like there and then what i'm going to do is trim these back so that we can get a nice curve going into the road so if we go like that and then we'll go straight again and then curve it in nice i feel like this already looks pretty good and then i do want to have this curve across actually you know what let's um so i want to do a diagonal road coming off of this and this is what we're going to use for our main street so we are going to come this way we're going to go all the way out and you know what i feel like that already looks really good so we're going to go like this and then let's go ahead and go back to our little two lane road we're going to curve this around and there we go. I feel like that looks pretty good. And so I uh, I like the curve that we got. I like that we got this little road. I do kind of want to fix this a little bit, though. I don't know if we're going to. Yeah, that looks a little better. Not much, but it definitely does look just a smidge better. So we'll go like that. Nice. And so the goal is to probably do uh, um, curves in here just because I feel like it's going to look really cool. So if we go like this and then copy it on this side and then we will come up probably about two. We'll go like that again. And then oh, what happened there? Oh, there you go. It's because it was auto saving. And so we will copy this down. Go like that. Nice. And then what I'm going to do is go ahead and copy this all the way up. I think I'm just going to skip two and then go. And then, yeah, I think this will look good and perfect. And I, feel, I feel, definitely feel like this is an interesting design. And so I want to get some services in here first. And we're actually going to do some big ones so that it covers this whole area. And you know what? I don't know if they would have a big hospital like this, but let's go ahead and look at the coverage because we don't have anything over here so we need to cover all this rural area too so maybe you know what i think we're just gonna do it because not having one in here is gonna be a problem and so i think we're gonna do a big hospital area right here so we will have it come in go like this and then what i'm gonna do is actually switch over to our lovely like half parking half road roads because i think these are just fantastic little assets we're going to go ahead and switch that around and then let's go ahead and put our, our hospital right there. And then I'm going to do a little parking garage as well since uh, the hospitals I'm used to typically have parking garages. This is definitely more of a modern upgrade for this area, um, but I feel like this would be much needed. And so I'm happy that we got this in here. All right. And so now what I'm going to do is just take a one unit road and go all the way around. So we're going to come like this and just connect it up. Nice. And there we have our lovely little hospital entrance, which I think is fantastic. And we could do something special for the um, fire department and also the police department, but I don't feel like it's ne necessary. So we're going to go ahead and do a big one right there. And then we're going to do a big one of these as well. So we're going to do two of them. So these would be new additions for the area. Maybe this, this uh, section of the city had boomed and they decided to uh, put in some new services. 
I actually think I'm going to move those because I want to do trees around the... So we'll come up here, go like that. And then let's go ahead and do a big one of these as well. And then we do need to figure out an area to do our schooling as well. I feel like it would be really good to just put it in here. I think we're going to do a combined one. So we're going to do an elementary and also a high school. So I think what we'll do is um, just do the standard ones for right now. And then maybe we'll come back through and, uh, and clean them up. So I think we'll go like this. And then what we're going to do is put a park in the middle. So we will go into parks, not uh, industrial. And we'll do the big playground. Yeah, I feel like this will look good. Perfect. I like this. I don't imagine a rural schooling area having a huge budget for something like this. Um, but I know sports would be really important and so we do need to get some sports in here we're gonna place one of these sports on gymnasiums even though these things are super expensive um i really like them because it's almost like an auditorium this would be where they'd probably have like indoor basketball and they do like uh, assemblies and stuff like that and then let's go ahead and do a couple sports areas so i want to do a track and field we'll probably do a soccer soccer would be good then we'll do some basketball so let's go ahead and do two tennis We'll do two basketball and then let's come over here and do a track and field. I do need to get like a small uh, soccer field or um, actually we have a small soccer field. I need to get like a small uh, football, American football field, because especially in rural America, football is just huge. The whole city kind of rallies around it. And so I think this looks really good. So the idea is to do um, light commercial around the uh, down the middle and then some more residential. And then we will have a whole little cemetery area as well fit with the church. Um, since those tend to be uh, pretty big features of older cities as well. So I think we're going to go like this. And then I think we're going to search up churches again. Anybody who watched my uh, mountain town saw me kind of do a little bit of this as well. So I think we will church of this one actually looks pretty cool. That one's a little old. I think we're going to use that one. I think that's the same exact one we did in the other one as well. But, you know, I feel like it's more fitting. So then we will grab this, move this over, go like this. And then what I'm going to do is probably do another cemetery on the other side. And then we will basically reserve this whole area for uh, trees and stuff like that. And, and this is a really mountainous area. Um, I think we will come back through here. I actually think we can uh, jump into slope tool, slope tool right now and just kind of clean this up a smidge. It doesn't need to be crazy like that. So if we go like that and then let's go ahead and grab these and see what we're looking at. Because even though we can build on mountainsides, um, we would still want to have our roads at least a little uh, flat. I don't think that they would uh, have the roads going up and down, but maybe I'm wrong. Um, I've definitely, I've been in a few of these really old small towns. Um, like one of the big ones that I, that I always remember that I actually really liked is in Ohio. It's called Marietta and uh, it was a really cool town. It has a really cool history too. Um, it was named Marietta after Marie Antoinette. And in the early days of the Ohio company, Marietta actually had aspirations to become a really large city. And it was only with the advent of trains that um, Marietta got kind of passed up because it was in the mountains. And so during steamboats and everything, Marietta was great. It's right off the Ohio River. It was a really great location. And so it was booming. But then when trains came in, they found out that trains couldn't really go through the area that well. And so they decided to divert them through Cleveland and Chicago. And so it's kind of interesting. Um, you go there and you see how um, cities that once were great, uh, subtle things like that, you know, all it takes is an invention like, an, like a train or a new form of transportation. And all of a sudden um, the city just never, never continues growing again. And so um, I do want to get a couple little plazas in here too. I think we'll do two right here. I feel like that would be really cool. And so I want to do a couple parks since parks are pretty big staples of these areas as well there's normally a lot of waterfront area um, one of the cool things with older cities too is um, you have to imagine that it was a lot of them actually most of them were uh, before cars were invented and so everything was built around walking um, or like tram access something like that we don't have any trams in here which i don't know if we're gonna do but that's definitely more um, historically accurate to have trams but i think that looks good so we got three we got our our services down we have a schooling area i don't know if i'm missing anything i feel like i always miss something so we could do a unique building of some kind in here maybe the the clock tower that could be good i don't think we've used it either no we haven't so maybe if we did the clock tower right here hmm, i'm tempted to get rid of this first road let's see what it looks like so if i get rid of that is this gonna mess everything up I feel like it's going to but let's go ahead and see so if i grab a one unit road have this go and then over and then down again and then place our clock tower right there you know what i feel like that looks pretty interesting um i kind of wish i don't want to get rid of that road though i feel like if they were building out this road they wouldn't have it 
end right there since that would provide such good access for this area. Because you got to imagine a lot of the people who live here are the people who work on the fields. And so that's how the city kind of started booming is there was a lot of food and and there was a lot of opportunity for work. And so people started uh, coming here. Um, and so getting rid of that road, I don't think would be accurate. I like that, though. I feel like at the end of the waterway would be good. And then I think um, we may even do like a small little fishing harbor in here since fishing would probably be pretty big for this area as well so we'll probably put down some keys and do a couple little piers and then a couple little fishing docks since i would imagine that the, that industry would be pretty big and so now what i'm going to do is go through here and basically zone it all out and then we'll come back through and uh, start doing some detailing and stuff i want to do the plazas right here and, and then just make it look good um, i'm going to go ahead and continue using the rural america um, theme that i have so that we get those uh, cute little homes that we have for these like this one right here with just a standard american home i mean this is definitely a bigger one but um, I think it's gonna fit really well for the area, and so I'm gonna go ahead and get that done real quick got all of our zoning down and I think I'm actually gonna put zoning on this too since I'm um, living next to the, the school would actually be um, pretty beneficial for a lot of people actually you know what? maybe we'll get rid of it we'll turn this into a whole schooling area I don't know how accurate that is to have that as an entire schooling area but um, I feel like it's going to be a really cool addition. So I think we will trim this back and then we're actually going to use our uh, canal key wall to basically follow the coastline here. So we're going to go this way and then I'm going to come out a little bit further. Yeah, here we go. And then we will have it come up here and probably terminate into the key wall. Yeah, I feel like that looks good. We do need to go into node controller though and uh, turn this into node list so that we uh, get rid of that weird little segment. We're just not going to look at that. And so let's go ahead and clean this up real quick. We're going to jump into the level terrain tool. We will go like this. Nice. I feel like this is already looking fantastic. We do need to uh, clear in this space. We would want the waterfront to uh, be somewhat level. And so we will go ahead and level it out. We don't want to get crazy with it, but we definitely want it to be a little bit level. And so I feel like that right there looks pretty good. I do want to No, You know what? I feel like that looks fantastic. I think we're going to go ahead and do some more residential over here too. So I'm going to uh, jump in here, go to a two unit road, and then uh, basically just do the same thing. So I'll come up here and then just go ahead and continue it. Yeah, I think, I feel like that's good. Perfect. And then uh, that way we get a little more zoning over here too, which is fantastic. And so let's come in here and put in a small park or a big park. We'll do a couple. Yeah, we'll go like that and go like that. Perfect. And then let's go ahead and zone this in. All right, so I got that zoning in and I went ahead and put in water pipes too. And I feel like this looks fantastic. And so I do want to come in here and do some small fishing piers. We're not going to get crazy with it, but we're just going to do a few. So we'll come in here, probably do two. And then let's go ahead and do a couple over here as well. Yeah, you know what? I feel like that's pretty good. And then that way we still have some room to do like a small little park or uh, whatever we deem to be fun over here. And so... Now what I'm going to do is go in here, unlock these so that I can delete them and upgrade them and keep my uh, fishing piers right next to each other, which is super important. So we'll go like that. And then let's go ahead and delete these now. And voila. And so let's jump into a two unit road. Go like this. Turn on snapping so that we can get it right next to that. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. And you know, what? we'll have this turn in. Yeah, we'll go like that. And then we'll do the same thing on this side. Have it go right there. And then let's have it turn. And we'll go like that. And let's have it um, turn up again. Yeah, you know what? I feel like that looks pretty good. I do want to uh, curve these sides in like I did that last one. I feel like that is definitely much better. So if we go like that. And then let's come up here and go like this. Yeah, you know what? That looks much better having the curves there. Um, and then that way what we can do over here is have this fall around and then curve up. Ooh, that looks a little iffy. So I'm going to jump into our lovely uh, slope tool. Go like that. Nice. I feel like that looks okay. I definitely wish that these were, uh, these looked a little better. They're not terrible. They're just um, not perfect. And so sometimes you just got to give up on that, especially with this whole rule thing. Um, that's one of the things about it is they're definitely not perfect. Whenever they were designing these cities, it was more about survival and and living it wasn't really about making sure that your street looked as pretty as possible and so now that's that's in there we do need to get a couple of fish factories and then we'll probably do a fish market too a fish market would be fantastic let's actually do the fish market right here and then that way we can um actually come in and turn that into a nice little area right there and then let's um put in some fish factories i don't really want the fish factories to be over here and that's kind of a problem 
So maybe we'll put the fish factories a little bit further away for right now, because this is going to be an industrial area. So we have to have some over here, otherwise they're going to end up literally importing all the way across the area, which I do not want them to do. So what we're going to do is just throw these in for right now, and then we're actually going to leave a lot of this space open because um what i want to do is put in the rest of our factories and we have some factories that we can place down like we have the clothing factory which we could definitely do um we have ooh the, the food factory which i didn't even oh no we need paper products for that one and then we need paper products for this one so we definitely um once we get that forestry industry in um which i might just throw in in between episodes go ahead let me know if you guys want to see that i know i just did that big one for crater lake and so uh, maybe we won't show it again um, but I'm going to go ahead and jump into a detailing time lapse, kind of finish this up, do our fishing lines, and then I hope you guys enjoy. I'll be right back with you. Okay, and so I am finally done. And you can kind of see some spaces in here. For some reason, our commercial is just not coming in. We do have a ton of commercial in this city, and so I'm going to guess that that's why. But it's kind of funny, our organic and local produce um, stuff did come in. It kind of looks like I maybe missed a little spot over here with some trees. Um, it's kind of funny, I'd gotten a comment recently asking why I do so many trees. And one of the main reasons I do it is because it's one of the only ways that you can show age in this game. And so in older areas, maybe the trees aren't as kept, um, or maybe they're really old areas, you tend to have a lot of overgrowth and just trees everywhere, and trees in front yards, trees pretty much everywhere, especially in areas where there's a lot of water. And so that's one of the main reasons that I'm, I do these trees like this is because I feel like it really captures more of a realistic effect over um, doing landscaped trees all the time. Which don't get me wrong, like I did landscaping down here. I think this looks great. I these little purple trees, maybe the city kind of came together on this and was like, you know, we want to do something special. And um, I think I might have forgotten to do water pipes down here. Oh no, we're good. For some reason, it's just not. Maybe I need to do a little bit more. It's kind of funny. I did the whole neighborhood, but I didn't do, uh, or I did the whole city. I didn't do the front water side though. But I think this looks really good. I decided to do the winter market over here. Um, it kind of looks like we're getting some abandonment, not enough workers. So we should, once these people move in, these should get enough workers. Um, so yeah, I did the winter market right next to our fish market. I felt like, I mean, you know, it's, um, it stays up year round. So I kind of wish that the, the tree wasn't always there. But I do like it. It's a really cool, unique building. I feel like it's an awesome little area for it, especially come the holidays. It's probably going to be really nice. Um, and then I went ahead and left this open as it's kind of just like a, a walking area. Like this would be for the fish market. Maybe we could even do some tables and chairs and stuff. I feel like that could probably be good. And these are just super easy things that you can do in your city to uh, just kind of clean them up. And there we go. And so now we have some nice seating for that area. And then I just did these planters with the purple trees over here does look like we're having some abandonment issues over here as well, probably related to not enough uh, workers. It's kind of, that's definitely the reason why I wanted to do this residential expansion is because we definitely have too many jobs. And so especially with this agricultural area, this is going to add in a bunch of new jobs for the area. And so we're probably going to have to do another residential expansion. So I think we're going to be moving on to this area or over here um, after we do the forestry area. And so, um, which I think Either right here is going to be the forestry area or right there. I built out a really cool forestry area right here. And then um, I, that was initially going to be my goal. But then I looked over here and I was like, man, the agriculture area would just be perfect over here. And so let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm sorry I, I didn't do a time lapse this time. I uh, started, I had to wait for them to grow out. And then when I started doing it, I didn't record. And I was like, you know, it's not the end of the world if I miss it. Um, we already did that big time lapse for the all the agricultural stuff. So um, another thing that I did, I went ahead and did um, two farmers markets down here. That's what these buildings are as well. They're like Mediterranean markets. I did some fountains and then just some some nice sitting areas with some organic and local produce around the outside. You can kind of see it's just all the same building. I'm kind of going through and, and knocking some of them out, hoping to get some new ones in there. I want to get a bunch of these little ones like restaurants or these like container restaurants. It's just really cool. Fits the area really well. And then the goal is to um, let this build out probably on the next episode. I'll show you guys the final product of it. Um, it may be a while till we get that um, that commercial in there. But go ahead. Let me know what you guys think of the new area. I think it turned out really well. Um, this was definitely this has exceeded my expectations. Um, if you've enjoyed this episode, you will definitely enjoy the episode on your screen. And thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys on Friday.